concerned about fuel, we sailed through the night. Got the last of the fuel, um, we're using that to get into a nice grey Plymouth. With the diesel engine plugging away, an auto helm doing its thing. It's amazing the modern comforts your diesel engine and auto helm afford you. They afford you time. So we're just rounding Lizard Point um, and the swell's just picking up. It's been such a calm and lovely day today. The dolphins have joined us. the uh, Land's End in the UK and sun's setting and wow, dolphins have joined us. Yeah! Oh, there's a few of them. Hey buddy! Yeah! Hey, -ho hey! Sun's coming up just in the Bristol Channel. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you well. You happy, Andy? So just when we thought we were out of the woods, and uh, we thought we'd cured all problems on board. We've found that the auto helm seems to be drawing too much power or the battery bank isn't holding up to it. We've checked all the connections, it is not that. The auto helm's running the batteries down, so we're back to old school and we're just going to have to take shifts um, manually steering throughout the next two days. <laughs> now, hopefully, uh, we'll do this for our dolphins are back. <laughs>
well and truly racing against this storm now. What I've done is I've used some preventers, um, just bits of rope, to pull the mizzen mast and the main just slightly to windward, um, which is working a treat at the moment. It's given us some extra speed uh, and it's also given us a few extra deg degrees windward. So we're still on the, the track that we need to be on. So we're currently losing the battle at the moment against the storm. It's gonna catch us before we get home, but the tide has turned and that may be our saving grace. School. We've got no instruments. I'd love to tell you what the wind's doing. We just know that there's a storm on the way. Emergency calls. Oh my God. All right, it's got a bit insane now. Um, just got out. We've had to take the main sail down. Got 30 knots. Uh, gusts and sea states crazy. We have no engine, obviously, and no instruments on power. So really tricky to see what's going what's actually happening jib just managed to break free but we've got that back under control now so we've got the mizzen up and a little bit of the the jib out because it's our only way of steering the boat at the minute and um, we've tried calling the coast guard a few times but unfortunately couldn't get through on the vhf and then tried them on the mobile and basically it got cut off didn't it you got it through to them and it just, yeah. just lost signal straight away so Alright, got it, Andy. The steering was difficult in the wild sea. We'd left the mizzen up to help control direction and steerage. Now we had to get it down and it was all tied up and wrapped up at the back. So not such an easy task. Then the tow line snapped. When you 
this point, I felt that we were safe. Little did I know, the waves were going to get much worse. Oh, shit! Yeah, alright. Oh, fuck! <laughs> 